Okay, you know what? I think it's time that we all got a little bit festive. I think I have exactly what the doctor ordered for that. It is almost St. Patrick's Day. And this is a holiday that most Americans celebrate by just going to get a shamrock shake at McDonald's or something. Uh, and that's maybe wearing some green. If you're in elementary school, you wear green so you don't get pinched. And then someone comes up to you and pinches you anyway and says, I'm colorblind. And you're like, no, you're, you're mean. You're a mean person for that. And then you have like this weird pinch bruise the rest of the day. Today's a festive day. Well, it's gonna be a festive day soon. Maybe not exactly today, but I wanted to get in the spirit by making our own shamrock shake. And I thought, okay, how hard could that be? Turns out, pretty not hard. You like pour some ice cream, food coloring, extract, whatever else into a blender, and the work is done. So I thought, hmm, what could we do for a meal that would lead into a nice shamrock shake for dessert? And then I thought, bangers and mash because, well, I know it's traditionally a British comfort food, but I ate it while I was in Ireland many, many years ago, and it was delicious and nothing like I had ever tasted in terms of a dish of potatoes and sausage, but it, it had such a special taste, it stuck with me, and I know a lot of people love their bangers and mash, so I figured, let's make some bangers and mash, and then let's make a shamrock shake, and then we'll call it a day, okay? We're gonna make some fluffy, beautiful potatoes, cook up some nice sausage, topped by the most important part of today, which is the onion gravy that is gonna go on top of the bangers and mash. That is gonna be the real test for me. Uh, if I can pull that off, it's gonna taste like bangers and mash. If I can't, it's gonna taste like sausage and potatoes with this weird thing on top that wasn't invited to the party, but showed up with printed out MapQuest directions and said, I found y'all anyway let me come in. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> I hope you guys are into the idea because I'm excited about it. And we have all of our ingredients here and some of them are not here, but for the most part, this is what we're gonna be using. Uh, a lot of different flavors going into this onion gravy, which I'm excited about because this gravy truly changes it from potatoes and sausage to bangers and mash. I'm convinced and that's what I've read. So let's get to it. All right, let's make some delicious dinner and then top it off with a nice green shamrock shake for Instagram and our gluttonous selves. What do you say? We're gonna be balancing kind of a lot at once with this recipe. The onion gravy takes kind of a long time, maybe like an hour in total of cooking. You cook, add some things, keep it cooking, add some things, so on and so forth for like an hour. And I'm gonna try to follow it as closely as I can while also getting our potatoes cooked and prepared as well. So I can sort of maybe multitask with that. For the potatoes, uh, let's just get these peeled and washed real quick. And then, Bunny's excited about this as you can hear. And then we can start working on the onion gravy. These are our beautiful Yukon gold potatoes. These things are just straight up nice looking. You know what I mean? Like some foods just look nice and Yukon gold potatoes. Also this one is shaped like a heart. So will you be my Valentine a month late? Okay, well we have our potatoes all nice and peeled. They're looking good, nice and bright and yellow. And I'm just going to chop up these potatoes into as equal sizes as I could possibly manage so that they cook evenly. But before we cook them, we are going to wash them until no more starch is in our water. We want them to be nice and clean and hopefully that will yield a beautiful, fluffy, soft mashed potato. I also had an idea that I think I'm going to do for this recipe, which is I'm going to bust back out the potato ricer. When I made the lefsa, the potatoes that went into that dough were the fluffiest potatoes I think I've ever made. So I'm definitely gonna use the ricer again to hopefully get a similar consistency, but we will see how it works. BRB, gonna wash the potatoes. All right, well, that kind of went pretty fast. So now we're gonna drop our potatoes into our pot 
And we are gonna fill this with salt and water and start this on the stove behind us. Hopefully we can do a good job of multitasking, not completely forget about that because it would be a shame if we overcooked these. So let us not do that. Let's get these going. All right, we are officially on the clock. So let's get moving. Let's grab our knife and we need to slice two yellow onions. So we have one and two. I don't think they need to be diced. I think just sliced. Let's get the skin off these suckers. Okay, these need washing too, hold on. Okay, now taking applications for a sous chef. Uh, you need to be better than me at cooking and be able to follow a recipe with no directions and not panic. Submit them now to Chef at google.gmail. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice and dice, baby. We're gonna get these onions nice and sliced. That is how we want it to look, I think. It's less of a dice and it's more of just like a straight up slice because we want the onions to sort of have their shape inside the gravy, I'm pretty sure. Because when you pour it on top, it's part of like how it's supposed to be presented. So don't be afraid to leave these onions a little bit large and in charge, if you know what I mean. There's a lot of onion, y'all. All right, so let's get this gravy going, baby. All right, so we're gonna take a half a stick of our Miyoko's butter, and we're gonna drop it in the saucepan. A lot of you guys were relentless on me not knowing the difference between a saucepan and a frying pan, and you know what? Everybody learned somehow, and that was me learning. <laughs> and uh, so we're also gonna take some sugar, which is about two tablespoons, or two teaspoons. Yep, that's sugar. Drop it in there, as well as our big mess of onions. And this is gonna caramelize for quite a while here. I feel like this is too many onions, but whatever. I'm gonna break up some of the actually huge pieces because we don't need that. We're gonna try to evenly coat everything in the butter and sugar. This is meant to get a nice caramelization onto our onion gravy to start. Well, actually just the onions, I suppose. So we're gonna try to get it all nice and evenly mixed. All right, so since this has to cook for like 30 minutes and caramelize for that long, I'm gonna get a nice stir going so everything's really mixed and beautiful. And then we're gonna transfer it to the stove behind us because we don't need to take up this space for that long. I'm just gonna add a little bit more butter even though we're supposed to add more at the end. I'm just adding a tiny bit more. We'll get it nice and mixed. I think this should be being cooked on like a medium to medium high because we really want a caramelization to happen, hence the sugar. So I'm gonna transfer this. Hey Google, timer, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. Thank you, Google. All right, so that is gonna do its thing for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna start to add some other things like this bowl of herbs, which is thyme and sage, cornstarch, mustard, balsamic, you name it, wine. And so right now, we're kind of at this spot where there's a lull. Huh. What do you guys wanna talk about? What's new? We could cook the sausages right now. I just wanna wait till we're almost at the end of the recipe because I want those to not be sitting there after I'm done cooking them. So we're gonna just let the potatoes sort of take the lead here. And once our Yukon gold potatoes are Yukon gold and soft potatoes, we are going to start the process of mashing those beginning with our ricer, which is not in here. I found it. I found the ricer, y'all. See you at potato o'clock.
All right, so our potatoes are getting to the point where they are getting soft, and I wanna be very careful not to overcook the potatoes because the potatoes need to be right, okay? So we are going to take them out in just a sec. I'm actually gonna just stick my knife yeah, so like maybe another couple of minutes. And you know what? I suppose since our next ingredient we are adding into our onion gravy is some red wine, let's just get this nice and prepped, you know? Let's, let's prep our wine by tasting it in the quantity of an entire glass of wine. Cheers. Make sure you spill it all over the place while you pour. It's part of how the recipe says to do it, so it's better to just follow the recipe, you know? Oh, this is good. So I think I'm actually gonna mash it very briefly before we rice it, and then we'll rice it twice, add it back to the pot. It's gonna be a nice thing, okay? All right, we're gonna keep this on a very low setting and start to mash. I'm gonna just add the rest of this butter because I kinda feel like I'm over measuring at this point. Uh, and also, so you wanna add butter first and then you wanna add some hot milk. So I have some of our oat milk in a little cup right here and we can heat it up. So let's pop this in the microwave really quickly. 45 seconds, start mashing. So I think we're gonna mash slash combine the butter and the milk with the potatoes and then we will rice. So they seem good and mashed for the first kind of round and now we're going to add some hot milk. Oh yeah, that's hot. Yeah. And pour a little in first. Make sure you go easy with the liquid, the milk, because I don't know, you can't unadd a little bit more. Get them nice and fluffy. We want these as fluffy as can be and I'm gonna be Salting them a little bit right now. We can also salt them later, so don't trip too much on salting them early on. Still think a little more liquid. They seem kind of dry still. I think it's time. I think it's ricing time. Here we go. Let's load her up. And let the ricing begin. Oh, baby. That's what we're talking about. These are our riced mashed potatoes, and we are going to just add them back into the pot so they can stay warm while we complete the recipe. Holy crap, y'all. I'm gonna keep these on simmer and hopefully nothing destroys them while we're not looking. Just to taste a little bit. Oh my God. Those are some damn good mashed potatoes, y'all. I just gotta say, if you're gonna buy a weird kitchen gadget, buy a potato ricer. Those things are amazing. We need to measure, what is it, a half a cup of wine? All right, wine is measured. That is good to go. So next up, we are going to add our wine and our herbs. We will cook the rest of our gravy right here so you can see the whole process. In fact, put it there now. All right, so the red wine has been simmering for a few minutes with the thyme and sage. This has taken on an entirely different look. Uh, the onions are very soft, caramelized, and now purple a little bit from the red wine. And in a second, we are gonna add our beef broth that I've prepared with some bouillon cubes. We're gonna add two cups of that here, as well as some Worcestershire sauce and yellow mustard. And that is gonna be the next step for our gravy, in addition to adding those two, we're gonna also take out the herbs now because those are not gonna be in the final dish. Those are just here for flavor. They just stop by to say, hey, you know, everybody take a deep breath. 
and now get excited because bangers and mash are coming up. And let me tell you, those potatoes went about as well as I could have hoped. I'm gonna turn that off for a sec because I don't want to destroy them. One thing we can do real quick while we are kind of getting towards the end of the onion gravy here is we can get our cast iron pan and get this nice and hot, get it smoking, and we'll put our bangers on it. So we need two cups of stock. That looks about right. So I'm actually gonna just start fishing out the herbs because why not get started? It's already stressing me out having to do this part. For all intents and purposes, we used and abused these beautiful herbs. So let's pay them a nice, respectful farewell. Bye herbs, thanks for hanging. We're gonna move on without you now. Later, later nerd. I mean, don't, don't call him a nerd. Okay, so the herbs are all out of here. We just went fishing. Hey Google, timer off. I got it from here. Did Google just cancel me? Oh, they canceled the timer. I thought my Google Home canceled me. Um, so we're gonna pour our stock into here. That's looking good. We're gonna also yet add our yellow mustard, which is something I did not ever think I was gonna be cooking with. I always just figured this was a condiment, but I'm gonna try to get it all out of here. There we go, the mustard's out. In addition, we need our Worcestershire sauce, which is right here. I think that's the Worcestershire. Yep, it is. That goes in. We're gonna make sure we get all of it. And let's give this a nice little stir. This is starting to take on the color of what I think gravy is in my brain. Oh, there's more herbs. Thought we got rid of you. Stupid herbs, dude. Clingy. All right. Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. In addition to the balsamic, we're gonna take our very small whisk, add some water to cornstarch, so it's almost like a starchy solution to the problem. And we're gonna add our starchy water. Oh, we're supposed to be whisking right now, y'all. I'm not whisking and I should be whisking. We also need vinegar. <laughs> oh no. Okay, what kind of vinegar do we need? Oh, balsamic vinegar, we added it, okay. All right, this is still not thick enough. Maybe we could add a little bit more cornstarch water. I'm improvising here, adding a little bit more cornstarch water, AKA milk, because it looks like milk. I'm gonna keep whisking because I should have been whisking this entire time. And we're making a mess, everything's fine. We need to go get some cold butter. Two tablespoons of cold butter. This looks like two tablespoons. And we're gonna just kind of whisk until that's all dissolved. Keep whisking, keep stirring. I think that's a huge part of this that I have been not doing the greatest job of. But good news is, this is getting thicker. And that pan is super fucking hot. So, let's put our bangers on the pan, baby. It's the home stretch, y'all. Oh God, oh God. Well, we wanted it smoking. Now we gotta be in two places at once. We gotta be whisking here, and we gotta be setting our kitchen on fire back there with those bangers. This is looking like a nice gravy. Oh wait, salt? I was supposed to add salt. I'm actually gonna take a little taste here. All right, those are coming in real hot. We're gonna put some pepper on here. This is getting very chaotic, okay? Everything's getting loud and hot and kind of scary. We're gonna add a good amount of freshly cracked black pepper though because that is important for this recipe. All right, this is the home stretch for real, guys. We gotta make it happen. And hopefully on the other side of this Aries tornado, there's gonna be a beautiful sky of bangers and mash.
Yo, we have bangers and mash. We have them, okay? I kind of can't believe it. It looks so damn good. So here's the deal. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna take a quick little bite of this one. This looks insane. This looks so good. All right, let's take a bite here. Wow. That tastes like bangers and mash. <laughs> this might be my favorite gravy I've ever eaten. I'm not a big gravy fan, but this really just has a good taste to it. And it, I can't even tell you how much it complements the potatoes and sausage. It's like such a fucking explosion of flavor going on. There's like sweet, there's salty, there's acidic, there's wine. There's this onion, there's the flavor of the herbs we use. Dude, I don't even know what to do with myself. This is so good. Oh, I know what to do with myself. I'm gonna make a shamrock shake, okay? I'm just gonna make it appear in here. It's super easy, okay? Just get some of this, okay? This is incredible plant-based ice cream. It's vanilla, okay? We're not using mint. We're gonna do the fake way, which is you pretty much just scoop some vanilla, okay? This is like, this is cheating, okay? Okay, a couple scoops of vanilla because even though it's a mint milkshake, we're getting our mint from a little bottle called Extract. This really doesn't work that well. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got three scoops of ice cream. We're gonna do some half and half. I think coconut, yeah, coconut half and half. Bam, a little bit of that. Look at this, dude. It's already looking delicious. Then we are gonna take Couple drops of green food coloring. One, two, three, four, five, maybe. And a couple drops of mint extract. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I don't know what's enough. Okay. BRB. It needs more milk. There we go. Still needs more milk. And actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more food coloring, and proceed. All right, we interrupt this message. Oh, green festivities. There we go. Everything is all over the place. We made some bangers and mash and a shamrock shake. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, happy being gluttonous. That's pretty damn good. Girl, are you ready? It smells so good in here. Bangers and mash. Oh, it's like when we went to Ireland. It's just like Ireland. Remember that? Can we try? Yeah, have yours or whatever. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, okay. You want a knife? Here, I can help cut. Mmm, oh my god. The potatoes came out incredible. Oh my god. Wait. That actually tastes like real bangers and mash. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's the, I mean, that's what I remember it tasting like. It's the onion gravy, dude. Yeah, definitely. There you go. Mmm. It's good? That is so good. This is for all you Brits out there and Irishmen Wait, and so women. The, the onion gravy takes the longest, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, that is so worth it. It's like sweet. Isn't it good? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the onion gravy, that is a special recipe. It Holy is crap. It's so necessary. Also, <gasps> shamrock shake. Because mm. it's almost St. Patty's Day. Good. That's not allowed. I that's mean, not this, allowed? This isn't allowed, but that's really not allowed. That's really not allowed. Yeah, we did that's it to not him. Allowed. What is in that? <laughs> that is so good. That is naughty. Plants. I grew this milkshake. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I grew no. it in the background. I see green food coloring on your thumb. What is it in there? Oh, it's from picking the plants out of the natural organic farm we have in the backyard. <laughs> you put kale in there, huh? Psych. 
Yeah, I looked up some like plant-based shamrock shake recipes and they're like, yeah, add kale, add kale and spinach. <laughs> no, bitch, I'm gonna add ice cream and food coloring. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, tell them. I'm gonna link this bangers and mash recipe, which has the onion gravy recipe inside of it. Dude, oh my God. Really good. Really, 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 really good. Want a little more gravy or no? I feel like everything that you make though, like if you had a vegan restaurant, like this is somebody's like real actual comfort food that they would come and eat it Right? All the time. All it would take was me to quit my job and dedicate all of 100% of my time <laughs> and create a restaurant and stress myself out and age myself 50 years. That's easy. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, let's do it to him. We're gonna actually go eat this for dinner. Usually when we cook, when I cook these meals that we're like, oh, it's good, we'll try it. And then that's it. This no, is our dinner. No, we save it. No, we, sometimes we just save it. And eat yeah, it. sometimes we save it. It's never like a meal. It's always just sort of like a test. This is legit our dinner though. This is our dinner. So we are actually gonna go, all right, you guys wanna bite? Here you go. I like how many vegetables are on this plate. There's a lot of onions, babe. <laughs> Here, have a bite. Here you go. Well, Don't thank worry, you guys. We ate other vegetables today. We did, we had a salad for lunch, I promise. I swear, I swear, I swear. I hope you enjoyed watching me completely stress out the entire time I made Was this. Was it stressful? Yeah, because you have to do like so many things at once. <laughs> The potatoes ended up really fluffy, right? Yeah, this is like genuinely incredible. What do we do? Eat to one. <sighs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Go make this at home. You won't regret it. Mm, no, you won't. Or make it at someone else's house. Just get out before they discover that you made it and take it all with you. Julian.